everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome back to Air, Memories of Old. So I'm gonna quickly go back. We found the guy's daughter, so we should probably go double check with him that everything is good. And that should send us on our way to the uh, the final final temple of this game. Yo. You found Eren. Thank the gods. Well, I guess it's safe as long as she stays on the island, and she won't be away for long. Phew. Thank you, Ock. You really saved me. I really started to panic there. Where are you off to now? Why don't you search out the three caves of the Howling Peaks to see if you can find something interesting. Come back and tell me about it afterwards. Okay, so, uh, like I said the last episode, I believe uh, we're looking for the bear, the fox, and maybe the crane. We haven't run into any of those three. Uh, and they're n Well, we ran into the bear. But we haven't run into the, um... We haven't run into the, the fox in his natural habitat. I'm looking... We're also missing some, uh... Some islands along the way here. Did I... Did I stop by this? I don't know if I did. Okay, yeah, no, I never read this one. My name is Aram, and I was there on the day of the Great Divide. My youngest child was ill, and I asked the spirit animals for help. When I prayed by the shrine of Ilikui, a terrible brightness pierced the air, and the land trembled and screamed. In terror, I took flight and watched with eagle eyes as the land broke into pieces, which crumbled and turned to dust. Only one place seemed calm. I flew there and perched on it, horror-struck. It was the lighthouse. The lighthouse was surrounded by a golden shimmer that warmed and soothed me. I saw the priestess Kara pass by me, weeping. She held a lantern key, such as they make in the city of Urza, but the lantern was dead and the shimmer came from Kara herself, dwindling as I watched. She descended the lighthouse, and I saw that many spirit animals had gathered around the tower, watching. When Kara came to them, they bowed their heads, and she left, and then left as if at an unspoken signal. Kra then looked at me and said, You are Aram? I know you, and we need to talk. I found my voice and asked, What has happened to the world, Kra? She was silent for a moment and then said, A great danger has gone, but also a great light. The time It's time we gather all those who are lost so that we may find a way for our people to live in peace with the world again. Ever since then, I have been flying from one broken island to another to tell the lost people that there is a new home to lead them here, where we, in time, may heal again, where my youngest can regain her strength. Yeah, I missed that. That actually was kind of pertinent lore. I don't know how I missed it. I guess this is kind of in the middle of nowhere compared to everybody else, or everybody else, everywhere else. I'm gonna quickly double check to make sure there's nothing else around here. Yeah, it feels like there should be more people, and I'm, I'm I'm betting it's kind of implied that there are more people in this general area. Oh, there's a... No, 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 no. We're going past the, uh... We're going past the monolith. There's nothing over here. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna fly to the other side. There's a... There's a series of islands we haven't discovered yet over here, so I might as well check them out. But yeah, that that island with all the lore tidbits or whatever was kind of in the middle of uh, a ring of clouds that I hadn't flown over, because it wasn't on my way. Okay, so we're looking for whatever is over here. If I can get there. Yeah, sorry these episodes are not coming out exactly the most um, steadily. It's like every other day. I'll try and do more. Just Halloween and everything else becomes kind of a problem. Okay, so we already saw we already saw this fox statue. And we'd looked at the rest of this. But we hadn't done anything with it. So we got some deer. And we're gonna start seeing some more snow. Oh, there's a there is a person here.
Just barely. Barely a person. And I don't see anything else really worth uh, stopping to look for. So obviously we've got Split Mountain. Which has a shrine looking thing there. Well, I guess I'll swing by it in a second. Looks like there's a couple of things to look at. I still would like to find the three caves before I do too much, though. Ah, oh, dang. Okay, there we go. We didn't have a whole lot of momentum to begin with. There's somebody up here. Let's hide in this cave. Those are your friends fighting out there, you coward. Huh. Is there a cave on this little island? It doesn't look like it. It's interesting, though. Wait, is this? This is the beast. Because that's the, that's the, like, triangular chevron thing. Just... Huh. I could be wrong, but it looked like it. Okay, so we got something here. Looks like maybe another lore shrine. Above all else. Yeah. I am Ura, and the guardian of the land of gods. I made this record so that my children and children's children may remember. On the day of the Great Divide, when our world shattered, I was still a child. I remember sitting at the white stairs of the southern city of Urzha. We had planned to journey to the west, but since the god king had waged war on our city, our lands were not safe anymore, and we stayed inside the city walls. The God King, Kuroku, as he was called, had built horrible weapons, flying machines of raining fire, but we always thought them far away, or even empty rumors. When the bells started ringing, fire and tears mixed in a horrible rain over us. We wept and screamed to the gods to end this, but we were answered by silence. And then the ground trembled, great cracks appeared, and split the stone white walls, oh, stone walls, white stone walls of Urza and people fell into the black depths of the earth. I saw my loved ones disappear into the heaving earth, and when the steps beneath me broke, I fell too. But my spirit animal spoke to me, and I remembered and spread my wings. I do not know how, but I flew for a long time over broken lands and stormy clouds. I arrived at the outskirts of the land of gods, half dead, and fell unconscious on its grass. When I woke there, a priestess sat beside me, tending my wounds. She said that Urza was no more, and that the world had shattered. A god had sacrificed himself to seal away a void from our hearts, and broken the world in the process. Many had died, but so had the god king, and his own city, On, was no more. Our shattered world was now at peace. I wept, and still, after many years, I weep at the memory of this day, and the terrible cost of this peace. Oh, we have a cave here. Might as well go in. I don't know if this is the right cave to go into, but I mean, it's not a, it's no temple. That's kind of everything that matters. But yeah, I've been taking this game real slow uh, for kind of good reason. I mean, this is not a game that's meant to be rushed through for, uh, for sure. Iliqui's Den. So this is probably... I want to say Iliqui was the crane. Yeah, so we're looking for, uh, we're also looking for the fox spirits den as well. Well, let's stay down here first. There might be some interesting tidbits. Some sad people in the cave. I mean, it makes sense. Honestly, if my world broke and there were these, like, really cool caves with spirit animals in them. Ah, that's an invisible wall. I think it'd actually be a little bit more, uh, willing to live in here. Maybe? I don't know. I guess if your world's breaking apart, you wouldn't exactly want to live in a cave. It sounds like a uh, rocks fall, everybody dies kind of situation. 
that's not exactly, uh, well, safe. I don't know, I just really like the idea of caves. Caves are cool, but there aren't a, really a whole lot of, well, caves that you can, like, go into and spend a whole lot of time in. Usually they're tourist traps now. I've been to the Carlsbad Caverns, which are awesome, but they have, like, a freaking dining... Oh, the fox. They have a freaking dining area halfway through, which just feels weird. I don't know. Anyway. Yo! Hello again, my wandering friend. How do, how kind of you to visit an old fox's den? It's quite empty, don't you think? No, not the den. The land of the gods. Not as many animals anymore, nor as many spirits. Lifla is still in her cave, it seems, and the old spirit bear moves from cave to cave in the north. But there was... There were more once, see? A fish and a crane. The spirit fish lived in the rivers and the pools around Twilight Lake. His last gift to us is the water that never stops flowing. Without it, we would have been lost a long time ago, and the spear crane, well, she helped guide the last priests and priestesses north during the Great Divide. She was hunted down by Kuroku's men, as they mistook her for a swan. Fools. As they declined, so are we declining. All we can do now is ask questions, and I have two for you. Why the Great Divide? And why you? Wanderer in search of answers, little wanderer. Thank you for your company. It was such a long time ago, but finish your quest now. Or else, it won't, there won't be another time. People often ask, why did you choose the name Wanderbot? The answer is, I mean, obviously, I like to wander around, and, uh, and I like robots. But, I guess the last little bit would be, it is super common for people to call me Wanderer in games. And, uh... <laughs> It's always kind of super amusing. It wasn't intentional, but it's kind of a nice little uh, side thing that happens constantly. Alright, so that was one half of the Split Peaks. I can't imagine we're going to have another cave in here, especially along the middle. But I figure I might as well check. I also find myself looking for Korok spots, which I know is not at all uh, what I... Uh, well, not at all the right game. But I do it anyway. Yes, yeah, so let's keep looking around. So we found the bear, though I think we might want to talk to him again. Because he might have new dialogue for us. Aha. Why are there... Why chains? What is this? We are lost in different worlds, I without you and you without anyone. In my mind we reach out to each other and hold hands in the cold, but as the statues are chained to the walls, so are our souls to life and death. Siridha, I don't know where you are, but your memory will forever roam the halls of my heart. Huh. You know, were this a bigger, longer game, I'd almost say, oh, that's a dead fox. Were this a bigger, longer game, I would go out of my way to see if I could find Siridha. But I don't know if that's even remotely close to possible in this. Okay, so we had these guys here. So this is memorial. So this is something. Surrender, you dogs of On. I... The lands are breaking apart. Run away, the troops of Urza are coming. Interesting. Oh, there's a couple more up here. No. Nothing useful. Just a bunch of dead people fighting some pointless war. I remember when I first played this game and I found flying to be actually really awkward. I knew it was awesome, I just also knew that I could not control it in the slightest. It's fun actually being able to control this game now. It's not like I was really forced to, or 
it's even incentivized to like go out of your way for that sort of thing. It's just nice. Okay. So let me check the map. Yeah. Looks like I've pretty much been to every island in this section. I think it's mostly just lore and cool stuff. But I will take lore and cool stuff. I mean, that's kind of why I like this game. It's it's no pressure. This is where I will meet you, child. Inside the Broken Mountain. Interesting. So it's a message in case you miss. Uh, Iliquai, or whatever his name is. Unfortunately, since none of the characters are really prominent, uh, it's super easy to forget their name. That's easy with Auk, just because... Auk! But that's about it. Okay, so we're looking for caves here and related stuff. Now, we have been to the Howling Peaks before. Where is this cave? It's almost... It's just ahead. We're almost there. And my nose has decided to run non-stop for a second. Ugh. No idea why. Well, I guess it is. We're transitioning into winter around here, too. And so my nose must be like, You see snow! Therefore, run! That's just how it goes. Yeah, so we'll go We'll go back and find the, uh, the bear. It's a cool-looking ice pillar. I just want to see if there's anything I'm missing. Oh, well, no. I guess we'll just go check this out. I think this is where we had met the spirit bear previously, yeah? Or not. I actually... I don't know if I've been in this one. It's been a couple of days since I last went in. Now, this is kind of my warm-up game. I usually play maybe one to two episodes worth every every day. When I get up, but sometimes I can't manage. Sometimes I'm busy. Sometimes Shell has work to do. Discover the tear. Okay. This is new. My love gazes at the full sky, but she will not know me. I took her hand and said her name, but her mind was empty. I fear that it's the doing of the hungry star. It has stolen her soul. The followers say... It's a new god, and she is part of it now. The priestesses of the old gods said that her soul is lost forever. But I do do I want to believe this? She, she will try to close the rift it is open to our world. But all those who wander on the other side will never come back. Her name was Saridha. Interesting. So Saridha again. I wonder if Kuroku was in love with her and like if if this was Kuroku oh that's the tear up there interesting I wonder if I can platform up there I mean it seems like a terrible game over type thing be interesting if I could get an alternate ending by more or less throwing myself into the pit but yeah, so apparently people uh, kind of throw themselves in there. And she might have done so willingly to try and close the uh, to try and close the 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 gate from the other side. But lost her soul in the process and failed. I don't know. It's an interesting thought though. Yeah, so the bear was somewhere around here. It's like we have a lot of structures and stuff around. I don't want to have to bird form this, because it's kind of careeny. Okay. Heave! The God King demands more rocks for his mechanical beasts, and it's your heads if he doesn't get them. Yeah, I figured as much. Okay, so we've done that. It's interesting, I kind of came here, found that original cave, the bear, and then I was like, I should be here. 
Oh, that's just the, the bird shrine. I don't actually see anything useful about this. Or am I in the wrong location, actually? You know what? I don't think I made it up this far. Yeah. I hadn't made it here. At least I don't think. I think this is too far north. Even the temperatures drop, the springs are as warm. Even if the temperatures drop, the springs are as warm as ever. Yeah, so we're looking for three caves up here. So I guess I wasn't tasked with finding the bear. I was tasked with this, sort of. Who keeps these lights? I wonder if anyone's taking shelter in this cave. And I bet if we go in, we find something not so great. I could be wrong. Well, I think I might explore this cave and then end this episode here. I know they're they're a bit short, but it's also <laughs> short on time. I'm getting there. I'm getting back to having full time. Beartooth Cave. Oh! So this is the cave we're looking for. Cool. Uh, so in that case, perfect. There's something moving up there. I'll relook at this, though. I think it's the same. Did I read this? Yeah, I did. I most definitely did. We've been in this cave before. Okay, so we're there. There's functional landmarks. It'd be neat if I could actually have like left little map notes or or stuff, because I actually would totally put down like POI POI markers uh, on the map to say like, hey, you've been here. Oh, okay, it is just the bear moving around. I thought I saw something else, something like foxy or wolfish moving around, but I think it might have just been the bear's head or a trick of the light. Could have been either. Oh nope, he does move his head. Ah, time flows so fast, my lady. I thank you for coming here. It was a great pleasure to relive, relive the past for a short while. But the world is growing weary and is missing something it once had. I hope for a great ending of this tale, and it seems it's not entirely over just yet. Okay, so we found we found the bear, we found the fox, and we found the, the tear. Maybe it's time for us to go back to the lighthouse, but I think I might keep exploring. What I might do is go check every island... Find where the temple is, come back to the lighthouse, then go back to the temple, and then probably go from there. That that seems like it's probably the most functional way of doing things. I don't entirely know. Either way, I will see you guys in the next episode of Air Memories of Old. And as always, thanks for watching.